Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Will. Today we're taking a look at the Adidas ZX2K Boost and whether or not you should grab a pair. So the Adidas ZX2K Boosts, these are the retro looking sneakers that Adidas have put out recently, a uh, couple of months old now, but didn't want to buy them originally because of that retro look and it doesn't really suit my style. Nevertheless, I bought a pair after seeing many, many reviews on how comfortable they were. Um, even though it didn't suit my style, I decided why not take a gamble, buy a pair. Unfortunately, I live in Melbourne, so I wasn't able to go into a store to try them on, so I had to take a punt and just buy them off the Adidas store, not knowing exactly how they felt. I went with my traditional size and hoped for the best. So this colorway I've got in front of me here is probably the best looking ones, in my opinion, at the moment that are in stock. Even though they do look retro, I still like how they look, the, the colorway, and even the general aesthetics of it. In detail here we've got the the pink rear um, as it flows into the blue along the sole, the Adidas grey three stripes along the side, perfectly mixed and balanced with the, the white and black upper. So on this side as well you got that uh, Adidas three stripes uh, and more black. This this side's a bit more filled in. You got that beautiful black there. Uh, the rounded laces which I like quite a bit. You don't see too many sneakers these days with the rounded laces. Uh, that's a big throwback to the retro style. Of course they don't look as cool as the NMDs, um, either the R1s or the R1 V2s or XPLRs in the Adidas range. These aren't the greatest looking sneakers aesthetically from Adidas but boy are they comfortable. So when it did eventually arrive I ripped open the box, bang pop a color straight away which was awesome uh, that pink just was amazing compared to what was shown on the website and super comfortable chucked them on straight away that boost technology that adidas has got i think they've upped the ante with these this is like walking on clouds it's absolutely amazing so i wore them for almost two days straight didn't really want to take them off they're just beautiful it conforms to your feet perfectly on a comfort level there is nothing to complain about it's 10 out of 10 in my books with comfort it's just pure bliss. Uh, really nice and snug. I, I reckon you could go for a 20k run without any strain on your feet at all. It's got beautiful shock absorption in the, the heel area, which is perfect. And it's just awesome. I, I just love how they feel on my feet. Honestly, these are more comfortable than any pair of Jordan I've worn as well. So props to them with getting that comfort perfect. And the beautiful thing about these sneakers is the material that it's made out of really breathable. You don't get hot wearing them. It's all round awesome. Personally, of course, I would have liked them to look a little bit better, but they were going for that 80s retro look, so they're stuck to it, and it does look out of the retro days, just the whole style and everything. So there's stacks of colorways available, and the most classic retro colorway that they've got is the cream with the teal. They are quite often out of stock. The awesome thing with the, the Adidas ZX 2K Boosts is majority of them are unisex, which is awesome, so Whatever your preference is on colorway schemes, it's pretty much open. So now that I've worn them and I know how comfortable these are, the looks are kind of irrelevant when it comes to wearing these. Uh, they do look cool. I'm not going to say they look ugly like some other sneakers out there. Uh, these do look cool. They have done a modern twist on the, the retro look and the retro look is coming back in, which is cool. Not my style, but cool. So overall, I would definitely buy another pair of these solely based on comfort i recommend if you want a comfortable sneaker grab a pair of these if you want to feel like you're walking on clouds 
and just floating every time you take a step definitely jump onto a pair of these these are probably the most comfortable sneaker you'll wear and they retail at 220 which is not too much more than the NMDs and if you're able to get into a store to try them on you put them on straight away I guarantee you'll love how they feel on your feet you'll want to grab them straight away these sneakers do feel true to size so just go with your regular size if you're not able to get into a store jump online grab a pair you won't regret getting a pair of these and there's many different colorways to suit your personality to suit the, the style you wear the colors you like if you don't like the bright colors i know they've got the full triple black they've got a full white range it's pretty pretty stock standard with those but if you want to pop a color anything these definitely will give you that and they do look unique there aren't too many sneakers out there that look modern but also look retro at the same time so these will definitely stand out positively so should you get a pair yes 100 percent get a pair if you want comfortable sneakers if you want to wear the most comfortable adidas sneakers you'll ever buy definitely get your hands on a pair of the zx 2k boosts and i might just do the same and cop another pair because these are awesome comfort to be honest i was speechless when i put them on just the comfort level so i'll chuck a link to the zx 2k boosts through adidas in my description uh, so you can have a look check out the other colorways that are available and maybe get a pair and if you do get a pair let me know what you think that'll be awesome to hear your thoughts as well that's all from me today thank you for watching if you like the video if you like these sneakers make sure you get onto a pair you want to see more sneaker reviews uh, sneaker unboxings sneaker related content make sure you subscribe chuck on that notification bell give me a like and suss me out on Instagram for more content and I'll catch you next time.